Aalyyah didn't want to get on the doomed plane that crashed and caused her death but she was carried on board unconscious after being given a sedative, a new book claims. The R&B singer tragically died in August 2001 at the age of 22 alongside eight others after a plane destined for Miami crashed less than a minute after takeoff in the Bahamas. It was later found that the small twin-engine plane had exceeded its maximum weight limit by several hundred pounds. The pilot of the doomed flight, who was not qualified to fly the plane, was also found to have traces of cocaine and alcohol in his body. Why the aircraft was cleared to take off in the first place has largely remained a mystery since the devastating crash almost two decades ago. But in her upcoming book, Baby Girl, better known as Alia, music journalist Kathy Iandali believes she's finally uncovered the truth. It was initially suggested that Alia, a known nervous flyer, had insisted on boarding the plane back to Miami. But, as first reported by the Daily Beast, a Bahamian man who had been with the pop star just moments before her death has claimed that was not the case. Kingsley Russell, who was 13 at the time, had been working for his family's taxi and hospitality business when he was asked to work as a baggage carrier for the singer. Russell's mother was Alia's driver during her time on the island and he said he spoke with the star on their way to the airport. Refused to board, the plane was late arriving to the airport by two hours, Russell said. And when Alia saw the size of the plane she then refused to board it, he recounts in the book. At the same time, members of her entourage were reportedly arguing with the pilot after he told them the plane would be too heavy for eight passengers and all of their luggage. Alia had been filming what would be her last music video, Rock the Boat, on the tropical island and her entourage was carrying heavy camera equipment with them. The airport staff and Alia had the common sense that the plane was overweight, Russell says in the book, as reported by The Beast. The 22-year-old, complaining she had a headache, then climbed back into the taxi van and laid down on the back seat for a quick nap. Eventually, Russell says, that a member of Alia's team came to check on her. Mystery pill during the exchange, Russell says the singer reiterated that she didn't want to get on the small plane and that she wasn't feeling well. The team member then handed Alia a pill, Russell claims, which she took before falling, into a deep sleep. Alia was allegedly still in the slumber when the pilot finally caved and allowed her and her team to board the flight back to Florida. They took her out of the van, she didn't even know she was getting boarded on a plane, Russell recounts in the book. She went on the airplane asleep.